everyone. So today was my first working day after the quarantine and I'm very happy about that. And uh, I've been wanting to do a video comparison between two violet perfume oils. So right now I'm on my way to Frankfurt and let's go there and smell some perfumes. Maybe this is gonna be video in the vloggy style. So yeah, I'll show you a bit of Frankfurt. This is Darmstadt that you might remember from my Darmstadt vlog and in case you missed it, definitely check it out. But with that being said, uh, yeah, let's let's drive to the economic um, capital of Europe. There are the skyscrapers guys and here is Douglas. Let's go in. Okay, did it. I smelled it. Wow, why I'm showing you my donuts. <laughs> and by the way, did you notice how cold it is? Today everybody pulled off their winter jackets and yeah, it's not June weather here in Germany. Let us know how it is around the world, guys, but let me drive home because honestly, after the first working day, I'm kind of tired and it feels good. <laughs> guys by the way i'm sorry that i didn't show you more of the city but i was in a hurry and also quite hungry after work so i quickly went to douglas and unfortunately couldn't film there because a lot of uh, sales assistant uh, got back to work yay just like me so i just um, applied a ton of the perfumed oil that is called the kiss from the violet from gucci's alchemist garden collection that i've made a whole overview on and you can check out that video but uh, i have to tell you the story first why i decided to compare a kiss from the violet to bint al faransi by abdul karim al faransi and he's based in the united kingdom and he creates these perfume oils um, with absolutely amazing quality and literally i've been having this one for probably um, six months and uh, it doesn't matter how much I apply, <laughs> the bottle is still full. So I really like that. But today I applied a lot of the oil mainly because when I apply just like a little bit, like made just one stripe or something with it, I couldn't smell much after a few minutes. And maybe I'm anosmic to some ingredients in there. I know that there is a uh, musk and iris besides the violet uh, but it is very subtle and you might remember that i've said that in my opinion alchemist garden collection is absolutely stunning and beautiful but some perfumes lack uh, performance longevity and quality overall that's why in my opinion they are not worth it for the quality but maybe just for the bottles and pretty scents well with that being said um, why i want to compare it to this perfume oil well basically as i try out that gucci's <laughs> violet uh, oil i fell in love with it the scent is truly gorgeous it smells just like freshly grown violets it is creamy powdery pomade floral, fresh, musky, irisy. It is amazing, basically, overall. But, you know, I wanted something that will last longer, something that I will be able to smell throughout the day, because uh, some of you might agree with me that there is nothing more annoying than gorgeous perfume that doesn't last. And so I thought of Abdul Karim because his oils are phenomenal and uh, I have amazing experience with them. So I literally messaged him and told him that I want uh, a violet uh, centered perfume from him if it's possible to make one. And he said uh, that of course it's possible and um, in a few months uh, he released this fragrance which means daughter of uh, Alfaranzi and uh, there is violet in there which plays the main role in this composition but it is so delicious and way more full-bodied and complex than the Gucci's perfume so in here you can get almost like a sour sweet powderiness and also kind of like 
Uri, Uri nuances, and that's for there is so much more going on in this one than in A Kiss from the Violet, and I need to tell you that I like both a lot. Both are phenomenal fragrances, but this one it, it just has more. It offers more in terms of overall olfactive experience. It is way more dynamic than the Gucci's perfume, which stays linear, and that's not a bad thing. I really like how it smells. I just wish it lasts longer. So that is a perfume that on me lasts just for a couple of minutes, not even hours. And that is pretty disappointing if you think of the price because it retails for around 300 euros and this one is I, I, I don't remember but I'm sure it is way more affordable maybe it's like 50 pounds or something I will definitely put uh, prices of both perfumes on the screen for you so you can compare them and you can get this oil which I'm telling you is in terms of investment so much better than the Gucci's one and it looks pretty too, although this bottles are very different. But I'm just telling you that if you are also looking for a gorgeous powdery violet perfume oil, this is honestly the best option I can give you. It is very, very good. It's like sour, sweet, powdery violet oud. And Gucci's one is rather floral, musky violet. But yeah, I would like to know if you have similar experience with uh, Gucci's Violet perfume. They have also one Eau de Parfum with um, Violet and uh, it's called Virgin Violet. But overall, performance of this collection, yeah, it's not good in my personal opinion. Not worth the price, but the bottles totally worth it. But uh, what I wanted to um, make clear in this video that if you are looking for a beautiful violet perfume oil, this is surely this one for me personally. And I highly recommend you guys to check it out as well as Abdul. Karim Alfaranis' collection. Let's support indie brands and uh, he offers amazing quality for very reasonable price and on that note if you have any questions left feel free to ask me anything you want in the comment as well as let me know if you like violet -y perfumes and uh, in case you do I've already created a top list of violet centered fragrances. I don't remember if I included this one into it. Um, that's basically me. Maybe uh, I didn't have it back then. And if you like violet and maybe violet oils, let me know in the comments something that you can recommend me to try. And I would like to know if you've already smelled the Alchemist's Garden collection and what do you think of it. Or maybe you have experience with Abdul Karim Alfaranzi oils. And he also offers perfumes in the um, spray form. So I have a few videos dedicated to his products, you can check them out on my channel. And with that being said, thank you so much for being here with me. Have a good day, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed these comparison videos. So let me know what you want to see in the next episode. And uh, feel free to check me out on my social media such as Instagram and Facebook. I'm also on Patreon if you want to support me. Extra support will be highly appreciated because although I got back to work. Uh, we are starting really slow, so I'll be working just a few hours a week. So your support is highly appreciated. And I also have a second channel, as you might remember. So all the helpful links are going to be down below. Also where you can find Abdul Karim Alfaranzi perfumes. And on that note, I'd be very glad to chat with you guys. Have an amazing weekend and stay tuned for tomorrow's video, which is going to be a lot of fun. And on that note, make sure to stay tuned, smell good, be healthy, and we'll see each other in the next one really soon. Bye, guys!